Hi, I'm Stephanie and this is my home, the 16th century Chateau de la Lande. La Lande was owned for hundreds of years by a family of marquises who were at the heart of French royal life. One of them even had the honour of being sent by King Louis XV to greet Marie Antoinette on her arrival in France. But, far from being a stuffy museum, this chateau is a living home. I live here all the time and am regularly joined by my mother, my family, my friends and wonderful volunteers from all over the world who help me to lovingly restore this historic home. Welcome to La Lande, a chateau filled with life, love and laughter. Hi, welcome to Sundays at the Chateau. I'm super excited today because Michael Petherick is visiting from Le Chateau de la Bamigne, and so we have decided that we would like to have a grand dinner party tonight, but we don't want to spend absolutely hours cooking. We just want to make it grand by choosing a lovely location and making a beautiful table. And we thought, well, we've eaten in the dining room lots of times, the kitchen as well, even the terrace. Let's do something completely new. So we have decided to set up a table in the potager and mummy's just working in the background so she can also join in with social distancing at the moment as <laughs> I just came back from collecting Michael. So at least mummy can be in the greenhouse but also watch us whilst we're working and feel included. And we're going to set up a trestle table and try and find some quite rustic porcelain and just choose flowers from the vegetable garden and see how beautiful a table we can make. <laughs> Mummy, are you excited about us eating outside your greenhouse tonight? Well, don't eat anything inside yet. Oh, I don't know. Some of those tomatoes, maybe. Green tomatoes, perhaps? <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. You've got something really heavy for me to carry. Oh, of course. I've been lining stuff up for you. Well, show me where it is then. <laughs> OK, let's get the trestle table then. What else do we need? We need a beautiful tablecloth. Tablecloth? We're going to need plates. Plates are kind of important mm, in this. Cutlery. Well that wasn't exactly heavy Stephanie. <laughs> no but it has come all the way to the stables. Yep right. so where do you want it? I think sort of where the bench is. What do you reckon? Have we got enough room to sit around it there? It would just be quite pretty in front of the greenhouse. Let's go and see. Okay let's do that. Well there's six of us remember. Can we fit six people around here? Today happens, happens to be my wedding anniversary. Well, not quite, Mummy. It's the anniversary of the legal ceremony. Yes. But the proper wedding at La Lande, there's still a month to go before that anniversary. We're talking about the legal thing now. OK, well, we'll have a little celebration for the legal one tonight. I was waiting for that. <laughs> OK, well, that's why we're coming to your potager, Mummy, to be near you. Of course, I knew you were remembering it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think we got away with that? We definitely got away with that. Yeah. <laughs> I think we should have it in the middle between the two beds. All right, let's do it. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Up there. Oh, everyone's a critic. Oops. Why doesn't everybody just gang up with Michael? I always stand, stand up for the right, you know me. <laughs> no favours. <laughs> Actually, this is very, very pretty. Right, you get the other trestle table. I am going to iron. A tablecloth? I don't know which one yet. Let's look for a nice tablecloth. Okay, I'm sure you've got hundreds of nice ones. Well, the thing I do actually, this is a good little tip for everybody. You never know what colour tablecloth you're going to need. Each different occasion calls for a different colour. Yeah. But you don't want to spend a fortune on tablecloths. Okay. So I go to charity shops and I buy old curtains. Boom. Done. Just They're curtains? super cheap. Really old curtains. Really? In the local area you can find them for five euros for a curtain. And usually if you just cut it at the top, yeah. you can just hem it and then you have a great tablecloth. Right, well show me your collection of <laughs> curtains, I, I mean, <coughs> I mean um, <laughs> tablecloths. <laughs> Many of these started life as curtains. These actually are IKEA curtains, but they can be quite fun in the garden. But I think they might be too busy because we're planning to put quite a lot on the table. So uh, possibly one of these yellow ones. This one is just a sheet. So that could do. Let's just take these through to the kitchen and see what plates we can find. I feel as though we've used the blue and white quite a lot recently, so I want to do something a little bit different. This I like a lot, but it's a sort of fine bone china and mm -hmm. I want something a little more rustic for the garden. Yeah. But honestly, I haven't got much that's that rustic in this house. Well, this would be... Okay, this is bone china, but it would have been perfect if we'd had more of them because isn't that perfect? Oh, for the they're garden? amazing. 
That is just exquisite. Where are they from? These were a gift at Christmas from somebody who watches the vlog. Wow. And they're from Harrods. Really? In the past, they're old. Yes, manufactured for Harrods, Brompton Road, London. Let's have a look. Just beautiful, wow. but we've only got two. Oh, and we well, are. Two's not enough. Not only two of us. These I might use. These are very simple. These are Ralph Lauren. Uh, Royal Limoges made them for Ralph Lauren, and I got them in the factory shop here because I live near Limoges. And I like this. I think that's quite a French country border. I didn't know Ralph Lauren made plates. Oh, Ralph Lauren homeware, amazing. I've yeah. never heard of it, it's amazing. Yeah, they have really nice, um, they have nice ideas because they really follow an idea through to the yeah. very end. So they'll have all of the furniture, all of the accessories, all of the table decorations, really? napkins, the bed linen. Wow. It's quite nice to see how they do it. I get some inspiration from them. Ah, okay. Now, in fact, I think it'll be these. I'm seeing something else that could be good down there. These are old plates that my godmother gave to me. I don't yeah. use them very often. Crown Ducal wear, Rydal. They're perfect. Oh, they're stunning. Much more rustic. Lovely garden look. I had considered these. These are by Burley in Stoke on Trent. Oh, I love Burley wear. And they made these for Ralph Lauren as well. And again, I got them at the factory shop in Burley, but. They're gorgeous, but I don't think black and white for today. No, but they are amazing. I love the basket idea, the cornucopia, that goes well, but I prefer these colours. They're stunning. Let's go for those. Do you agree? Oh, of course I agree. Very, very triumphant search in here because, look, we have these. They're Sargamine French pottery. Wow. And I, I, one day I would love to have one of those sets of cabbage leaf table decorations i think my mum's got some of those i love those i really love those but we haven't we've got this though and let's not focus on what we don't have and instead make something beautiful with what we do have we can make aperitif nibbles on these oh that's a good idea and i also saw that i have three matching oh wow for the set they're great aren't they they're going to look gorgeous on the table they're going to be perfect as we have definitively chosen these plates, let's see what would be best. That works really well. That is too much of a pattern beneath them, I think. Not that one. That I like as well, because it's particularly summery. Now I'm just coming up with a French word for this, fad. The French word fad means it's just lacking in pizzazz. It's a bit dull. I'm not sure there's enough of a contrast there. Perhaps because I'm wearing this today, I'm feeling very colourful, I think. I'm going to go for the lovely bright yellow. It's going to be really summery and sunshiny. Let's go get started. Time to get ironing. My least favourite part of laying a table. I don't know if this is going to be long enough. I hope so. Because we've got the whole trestle table. No. We might have to put other little bits. I don't have another matching one, so I think we'll have to have a couple of white ones and then this right in the middle. Yeah. That'll be fine. But put white ones on first at the bottom. Yes. And then lay that over the top. It's so sunny. It's lovely, isn't it? I just got two small white tablecloths to put at the ends. And I think this is going to be fine, don't you think? Of course, it's going to be the perfect. big yellow middle. And look. I found these napkins. They belong to my grandmother and they're all hand embroidered in Madagascar because my mother, my grandmother, they all lived in Madagascar for a while. Oh, really? Yes. So I thought that would be quite sweet in the garden. Oh, they're lovely. I mean, she looks very jolly. Yes, she does. That's the sort of look we need tonight for the party. <laughs> Are you going to wear a red skirt? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. Bring the plates out. Let's get them. I brought my grandmother's silver cutlery out to just stick with the sort of old fashioned and also the idea of using really nice things from inside outside. Yeah. It doesn't have to be plastic because we're outside. It's not because we're sitting here that we're going to throw it on the floor. And actually we're probably fine to throw that on the floor. Look, he just stabbed it oh, on the floor. That was meant to be. Wow, Stephanie, I wouldn't want to be near you if you got angry. Oh, that's my grandmother coming out in me. <laughs> you can tell it's her cutlery. <laughs> she was more ferocious than mummy. Wow, I can imagine. <laughs> it's nice to have all this space because we'll be able to put lots of platters and lovely, yeah, beautiful decorations on the table. 
Marie's told me she's going to be cooking a big one pot meal for all of us. And we can also make the aperitif nibbles for everybody. Mummy's having to come out so we can go in because we need to get some terracotta pots. I had a brainwave. I think this is a real brainwave, Michael. Let me know what you think. I thought these tiny little terracotta oh, pots. Oh, they're darling. Shall we use those loads of, of them? Of course. With maybe sage and uh, what have we got at the moment? Lavender, lemon balm. Chives, everything. Marjoram. Yeah. And it will smell nice too mm. on the table. Well, we're going to have to find some clean ones. These they look good. Pretty. Yeah, and I'll give them pretty. a good rinse. Pretty. Uh, Oh, these ones they're are tiny. Quite... They're really cute. They're I like nice. those a lot. Can we yes. use those ones instead? We'll just cover the table. I think that's enough. That'll be great. Perfect. What are you up to, Steph? I am obviously just washing terracotta pots as one does in an afternoon. The difficulty, of course, with them, which I didn't think through at the beginning, is they have a hole in the bottom. So how are we going to put the water in? There's going to be a way. And they'll dry outside, won't they? Yes. That one's just still got a bit of white on there. Yeah, Will it come off? Quality control is very, very difficult today. <laughs> very hard to please. Yeah. <laughs> Better. Okay, this is quite funny. We've got two different schools of how to make these waterproof. So I've tried cling film and Michael's gone for quite fascinating ways with tin foil. It definitely has more structural integrity. I've only got to hold water in for an hour or so. Yeah, I think yours will be better than mine, only because I think that mine can squish down and may well do so when the flowers get pushed in. I think I might switch to your method. Let's watch the master at work. Oh, the look of concentration on his face. Great. We are turning your little plant pot into vases temporarily okay. using tin foil. We tried two methods, but Michael's proved to be the finer method. Well, it's an improvement on your father using the flower pots to bake bread. Actually, I think that that sounds like a big improvement on us trying to use them as vases. Let's <laughs> bake some bread in these. <laughs> yes, little individual bread. <gasps> it would be so pretty. Should we do that? Let's try it one day. Yeah, let's try it. This week. Yeah, one can do a big one as well. Yes. Yeah. I'd love to try it. Because terracotta is the best thing to cook. Should go in the oven. Yeah. Well, it really was quite successful, actually. Yeah. He was so happy with his flower pot bread. <laughs> <laughs> so, so far you have collected sage and chai flowers and lavender. Mm -hmm. I think some coriander flowers as well. Yeah, of course. These needed cutting. And then we can put the leaves on some of the nibbles as well. They smell so, so good. They're going to be great on the table. How pretty is that? They look amazing. Oh, Michael. That just makes me really, really happy. <laughs> right. It just is insanely pretty. But you're right, we should use what we have in this garden. This is really coming together. I love the fact that all of our decorations are edible. Everything's edible. Everything, yep. Roses, lavender, and we've used coriander flower, I'm about to use bay leaves, mm -hmm. sage flowers, sage leaves, mm -hmm. everything. Dried flowers. Mm. I'm not sure that we're actually going to sit and eat the roses and the lavender, but it's good to know we could. Oh, I'll have a petal or two. <laughs> and whilst Michael and I are making the table, look what's going on outside. Wow. I used to do archery with my father. That's his target. Huh? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, he used to enjoy it. Yes, I like it. <laughs> it's nice to see it being used. Oh. Yes! Oh, Antoine, <laughs> superb! Really good! Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic! So talk us through what you're doing, Stephanie. Well, we decided that we wanted to take some nibbles out to have before the meal. Yeah. And we're doing that without having planned it in advance. So we found olives, which we put on the nice salgamine plate. Crisps, because why not? We, we all like those, eating huh? them. Yes, we like eating them so they can go out. And now I'm just going to make some oat cakes with mm -hmm. blue cheese. Just use up what you've got. Yes. There's actually not a lot of food in the house. No, we have to do a big shop tomorrow. Yeah, we desperately need to. Mmm, get really delicious things. I'm looking forward to that. I've made these little oat cakes with blue cheese, walnut and honey from our own bees. 
Wow. Um, Michael, I think we've got to try first because we can't serve it to other people without trying. It's good. Mm. <laughs> okay, let's take everything out and make the table beautiful. Cheese and onion, it's a thing, right? Oh, it's a well, thing. Well, it's definitely in the UK, it's a thing. And what tastes like onion but looks pretty is the flowers from chives. Look, so they're completely edible and they taste of onion. Uh, but like a nice, nice onion, more like a chive, but mm. stronger than a chive. It is stronger. But, I just but, tasted it but, now. But sweeter than onion. Mm. So all you do is you just pull the flowers off like this and you can use them to decorate anything like um, salad. I put them in salads all the time. Such a great idea. It looks so pretty. Oh, the prettiest elderflower cordial. Marie made the elderflower cordial. Michael and I have just picked the wild strawberries. We're putting rose petals and lemon balm in there. Now that is a refreshing drink. Mummy, what do you think? Oh, you found the wild strawberries as well. Mm. That's, not, that's not a wild strawberry, that's a fat strawberry. Mummy, are the strawberries out? Oh my goodness, you secretive little gardener. And where have you been hiding those? Among the bushes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take out the lovely little bouquets that we've made. Look at this. That's just lemon balm and lavender. Sage flowers. Coriander flowers. Marie has brought these gorgeous gazpachos for us. Ooh, beautiful. It's as though you did it especially to match the table, Marie. Yes, indeed. Look, these are the last ones. Roses and bay leaves. It's all plants that can sure. be eaten, all from the vegetable garden. So, are you saying this is our food then. tonight? Yes, just eat the roses, mummy. We couldn't be bothered to cook. <laughs> Would anybody like some elderflower cordial made by Marie? Yes, we do. Happy wedding anniversary, mummy. I am Thank so you. sorry Percy can't be here, but hopefully he'll be here in time for the proper wedding anniversary of the religious ceremony at Lalande. I hope so. Next month. I hope so. This is how Cheers. your greenhouse should look all the time. Cheers, Percy, my husband of a year. Antoine, you deserve mm. it because you've been working hard with your archery this is my today. Yes. So help yourself. Oh look, double oh. vlogging. <laughs> 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 and here's Michael's stunning view of our table.
A huge thank you to all of our patrons at Lalande who are making this vlog possible, especially our Marquis and Marquis of Lalande, Alice, Alan, Daniela, Dan Banda, Danelle Banakovic, Jason and Valerie Best, Veronica Castillo, Laura DeMare, Sakura Dennis, Dottie, Anna Farmery, Caroline Furster, Brenda Gibbons, Brenda Harris, Anthony Hindmarsh, Laure Auquier, Yedelund, Pauline Johnson, Jimmy Kemp, David and Summer Lalande, Shannon Maitland, JC O'Ward, Maureen Palmer, Bettina Rojek, Barbara Schmelzer, Sven Schreiber, Patty Suhu, Sarah Thornton, Colleen Troyer, Brand Walton, Brian Woodward, and David Young. And thank you to all of you.